Okay, I'm at the place now where my underpainting is dry and I need to begin adding the color layers. Um, I'm going to start with um, some yellow. It's not just the yellow out of the palette. Um, it has been mixed uh, with a little bit. It's like the two yellows sort of mixed together. And you'll see that I'm going to put that a little bit of everywhere. I want uh, this yellow for the highlight area. I also want this yellow a little bit for uh, the leaf. Okay, so I added just a little bit of green to it now. Um, and I don't like how bright it is, so I'm gonna just clean my paintbrush off and lighten it up a little bit here on the leaf. While I have some wet color on the leaf, um, I'm gonna just make a little brown. The fastest way to make brown is green and red. So I'm just gonna mix those two together here. And because I want I want some of this like lighter or this darker, there are these spots on the edge of my leaf and I'd like that to drift a little bit. Like I want, I want that to not, like for it to wet into wet mix a little uh, and not be such a hard shape. I don't think my paint was light enough or wet enough, so I'm gonna come back and just hit it with a little bit of water. And that's getting a little detail-y right now, so I'm just gonna kind of let it dry. While I have that brown, um, actually, I'm going to then come back. This is a little bit uh, drier now, my initial yellow. And so I'm going to mix in a little bit of the red. I want this pair to be um, like a Bosch, one of those pairs that's kind of a brownish color, brownish golden. And so I'm going to just start building that color up. As I see that the color is darker than I want it to be, I just am cleaning my paintbrush out and adjusting as I go. Making sure that I'm looking at my values. I don't want to cover up where I need my painting to stay lighter um, with a color that's going to be darker than I need it to be. So I'm using some caution here oops, with my color and kind of having the color also reinforce some of the values that I wanted to be in place with my pear painting here. So I want kind of a goldeny, a goldeny pear. And I am gonna put some red in there, but you'll see that this happens not all at once, but instead in um, layers. So I've cleaned my paintbrush out again. I have squeezed it dry again. And I'm working with my new color of paint. I also want a little bit of pink, like the pinky red. Uh, pears so often have that kind of uh, glow. So I'm gonna include a little bit of that in a couple of spots. And right now my painting is really wet. And so what I'm gonna have to do is let it dry, which is why you're painting two fruits uh, or two versions of the same fruit. Uh, it gives me the chance right now to switch and work on the one that isn't so wet. So always remember that watercolor paintings happen in layers. And this is just color layer number one.